Hello my friends and welcome to the continuation video about this Sony uh, C77ES uh, CD player. I have here a collection of the discs that are the hardest to play and I'm going, um, these are all CDRs of course, and I'm going one after another um, sort of uh, testing and proving that it works. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to fix it or send it back to the seller on eBay. But then I decided that if I do send it back, it will give him a lesson, but but it um, it will be probably scrapped. And it is, after all, a, a, a good machine, so I, I carried on to, to fix it. A lot of cleaning, of course, um, the belt had to be replaced because, you know, rubber band is not really fit for purpose and I was struggling to finding a right belt because basically well I, I had no idea what what was there before so uh, I tried first two square millimeter belts that didn't work then I went for 1.4 and the turntable or the whole tray just would not quite engage you know sometimes it would sometimes it wouldn't so I went uh, from 49 to 46 size and it made no difference so I opened it all up and cleaned that pulley gears and lubricated it again it wasn't quite right so I went the other way and I fitted 51 mil belt and this is pretty loose but it works fine. So there you are, the mechanics is, you know, um, uh, a mystery to me, <laughs> but somehow I managed to, to, to work it out. Um, about the player, as you see, even though it's ES series, the transformer is not really big in it. The um, laser unit, whether it can be seen or not, it's KSS 240, which is probably the better one of the gear-driven ones, if not the best of them all. Um, as far as uh, DAC is concerned, let me see if I can bring that up. Uh, uh, what was I was looking for? Um, that, that uh, I've lost that screen, but, but it appears that um, it, the, the DAC that it uses is CXD2561, it's a Sony found in maybe three or four players maybe maybe half a dozen but it's big brother um, CXD 2562Q is found in Sony best players uh, best players that do not use um, other decks you know like I'm talking about um, Sony DAX in Sony players and, and, and it's not using any other uh, unit so as if those um, DAX were not um, given to to, um, to other manufacturers so it, it has a reasonable DAC you know predecessor of the of their best unit decent laser heads uh, and a, you know, a plethora of functions and, 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 and features. There is an awful mess down there with um, grease. Um, I could really show you that. Um, and we'll see how it um, does it. Oh, well, I would have to unload the CDs because um, it's under there. But uh, let me see if I can just slide that one out. Um, this is just my test CDR. Yeah, I can see there, there is an, an awful mess. I'm not going to clean it because that looks like a factory stuff. And, um, and there is another belt down there. And, uh, but again, I'm not going to open it up and check it. A, because it works and B, it's, you know, works fine. And my experience with, um, other Sony jukeboxes, you know, like those 400 CD one, yeah, is that some belts 
go bad, others do not. Like in that jukebox, you only have the two top belts that file, but not the bottom one. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye-bye.